this is your math paper for today. Today we are working with measurement and data. Our I can statement is I can interpret data or understand data. Please put your name at the top. Today we will use the data from the graph to answer the questions below. This is our graph. The title of our graph is Animals in the Rainforest. Along this side, it tells us the number of animals, and then along the bottom, it gives us the different animals that are in the rainforest. We have butterflies on our graph, frogs, and snakes. To answer each of the questions below, we will need to look at the graph to find our answers. The first question says, how many frogs are in the rainforest? You will look at your graph and write how many frogs are in our rainforest. Then it asks, how many snakes are in the rainforest? You will do the same thing for snakes. And our next question, how many butterflies are in the rainforest? And again, for your butterflies. Which animal is there the most of in the rainforest? Which animal from our graph were there the most of? You will write the name of that animal here you should spell the name of that animal correctly because they're right there for you to see. Our next question says, which animal is there the least of in the rainforest? Again, we will look at our graph to figure that out. We will write the name of that animal on the line and we will spell it correctly because it is in sight where we can see it. For our next question, how many more snakes than frogs are in the rainforest. So you will take the number of snakes and subtract the number of frogs to find that answer. You should have a number model here. Something take away something equals your answer. And our next one, how many animals are in the rainforest all together? So you will use this information to find that answer. Once you have answered all of those questions and your name is at the top, you may turn your paper in.